Hi there, and welcome to Mendel Plays. In this episode, I wanted to showcase my rocket interior design. I've gone through a few different iterations of this before I landed on something that I feel is pretty stable. Before I get on the final design, I thought I'd just take a second and show some older prototypes that I had designed in the past. Unfortunately, this is only a screenshot. I, I don't have uh, any of my rockets filled in this way. You can see that I built this specifically for space exploration to uh, eventually reveal all of the star map. This design kind of focused on making sure that I had a 12 tile washroom and also a 12 tile mess room because none of these buildings here interfered with this ability to be a, not a mess room, a mess hall. I ended up uh, sacrificing the full barracks ability because this is industrial machinery that prevents this from being a full barracks. You can also see that I have this storage container over in the lower right with oxalate in it, and the oxalate gets released slowly over time based on this pressure sensor. I went through a few different iterations of this since then, but this is the one that I eventually landed on, primarily because this, if I pull the room overlay here, this actually gives me a full barracks, a full great hall, which is 32 tiles, and then also a washroom on top of that. And the key to that was to take this oxalite design that I had, and as opposed to throwing it into the lower right-hand corner as a storage container, I take a conveyor loader, which when I need to reload my oxalite, I'll just throw a conveyor loader. Here, let me throw this up here. I throw a conveyor loader in this spot right here, have them load up the oxalite, and throw it into this lower right-hand corner space. And that saves one tile, which gives me exactly all the tiles I need to have these three bonuses and still deal with my filters design. The other nice thing about this is because it's not in any physical storage, I can fill this up to have as much oxalate as I wanted. I'm not restricted to the 20 tons that the normal storage container actually has. One thing I'll showcase here is that this uses... Let me throw the gas overlay on here. So the powerless filter design takes advantage of the fact that any individual pipe tile can only hold one gas regardless of the volume that's in that tile. And the way this works is here I have a gas valve that's set to one gram only and I have three pipe segments of carbon dioxide that are looping around constantly through this. So since this is entirely occupied with carbon dioxide that means that any time that oxygen runs through here it can't occupy this space because there's CO2 that's already there. So it'll push instead to the side and move over to the area that I want the oxygen to actually flow. If there happens to be any carbon dioxide that flows through here, then carbon dioxide can get pushed into here because that would just create a larger volume of carbon dioxide that's actually in these tiles. So here I have one gram of carbon dioxide and these tiles can fill one kilo. So 999 more grams of carbon dioxide can get pushed into here, but because this gas valve will only let one gram through, then the remainder of that carbon dioxide gets pushed out. Once the atmospheres are both filled up, that loops around this circle and this element sensor looks for oxygen and if it determines that there's oxygen here it just gives it a little bit of a delay and then turns this whole thing off. Just a few other miscellaneous things. I've got this storage container here uh, so I can fill it up and then just drop it for any materials that I actually want. The amount of decor that I have through all the glass panels I have in the background is enough is enough that it makes no difference whatsoever if I have a lot of debris uh, or negative decor things lying around. The pressure that I use for here is 900 to make sure that this area is breathable enough. The sole purpose of the hand sanitizer is to get the room bonus, but the benefit of ha sanitizing your hands is less than the negative of any time that they were to come in here and wanted to refill this with bleach stone. If they dropped the bleach stone, then all of a sudden the, this environment would fill with chlorine and that would break the this filter because the chlorine would come over in this direction and end up filling up in this area and break my atmosphere docks. For the wall toilet, I just have a big loop of liquid that runs through that and that lasts for a good long while. You can see this extra segment and this isn't pulled over here because this is an upgrade from an old design where the washroom was actually in the upper left hand corner. But I had to change that in order to make sure I got all the room bonus based on where I had this corner over on this side. 
I think that's about it. I'm pretty happy with this rocket design. I think this is going to be my rocket design for two or one dupe forevermore. There isn't really a way to do this with three dupes because even if I threw another atmosphere dock here, took out the storage bin, and threw this uh, mess table up here, I would still only have two mess tables for three dupes. Oh, I also wouldn't have a third bed. That's kind of a big deal. So I don't think that I, I think that if it got to a point where I was going to have uh, more dupes that I needed to be on a particular asteroid, then I would just send out a second rocket and uh, have two different living areas and two different living quarters. That pretty much does it. If you have any questions or have any alternative ideas for this design, then I'm definitely welcome to it. I'm pretty happy with this overall, though. This design over here, the payoff of having to always reconstruct and deconstruct a conveyor loader, this whole infinite oxalite storage thing in the corner makes that so worth it. Gives the ability for this rocket to be in space for as long as you need it from an oxygen perspective. Then the only thing you have to worry about really is how much water you can actually get supplied into the wall toilet. Hope this was useful for you. Again, feel free to leave any comments or questions. Insert your standard like and subscribe closing speech here. And please always feel free to reach out and tell me your story because no matter who you are, I would love to hear it.